This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Last Word Video Supplement. I'm Skylar Frank, and with me is Peter Antoinette, CEO of NanoComp Technologies. So, Peter, how is carbon nanotube technology viewed by system designers? Well, Skylar, I think you'll find that carbon nanotubes have been being looked forward to as the next generation of new and advanced materials. System designers are now seeing the possibility of using these new new, in new applications for uh, electronics, electrical wires and cables, and shielding of uh, large-scale aircraft. And what applications does carbon nanotube technology have for aerospace and defense electronics? Well, in the short term, it's replacing copper wire and cable because it's much lighter weight. Uh, it, it represents a bridge between today's electron-based copper materials and potentially where folks are trying to go to optical fiber. They don't have to do that. Optical uh, cables are being used to save weight. Uh, these new lightweight carbon nanotube-based systems will actually save the same kind of weight but still stay with the same electron-based connector systems that engineers are using today. Secondly is EMI shielding. Uh, for example, carbon-based uh, composite aircraft have uh, often get residual current from lightning strikes. They use metal to protect the aircraft, but residual current is still present. Uh, this lightweight materials is being used for EMI shielding and uh, shielding internally uh, and enables uh, better shielding with less, uh, for basically the weight of a coat of paint uh, and allows you to shield the internals of a carbon fiber based airplane much more effectively. What do you see as future applications of carbon nanotube technology? Well, clearly you'd want to say that you could go into the composites world. Uh, carbon nanotubes have uh, a high, at least the tensile strength of carbon fiber, but they are quite flexible. They don't have the same brittleness, so the strain to failure is different. Um, they're able to be in a fabric-like format, or they can be put into the composite themselves, or become the composite themselves. So one can imagine uh, that the surface of a wing would be both structural, it could de-ice itself because you could run heat through there, it could be the antenna, it could report back to the, uh, to the aircraft and say we are or are not uh, integral or not. So you have enormous numbers of multifunctional applications that carbon nanotubes can bring to aircraft and, uh, yeah, and spacecraft. So what do you see as the future of carbon nanotube technology itself? Well, the greatest challenge is being able to drive scale to, to volume and decrease costs. It's great to have a cable here that's 69 percent lighter weight, but you have to be able to produce this in a format and in a cost that can be broadly used by uh, aircraft engineers. So the future is driving up the, uh, the output, decreasing costs, and eventually getting broadly used across the entire industry. Well, thank you for coming in to speak with us, Peter. I'm Skyler Frank, and this was the Military and Aerospace Electronics Last Word Video Supplement.